In this video guys, we're going to be showcasing every single Shizen in Shindo Life and then at the end of the video, we're going to be ranking them from best to worst. Stick around to the end of the video to find out which is the strongest Shizen and which is the weakest Shizen. First things first, we're going to be starting off with the average, with the normal, we're going to be starting off with the normal Shizen, so, or Shizen, it doesn't matter how you call it, but yeah, the thing we're going to be doing is the Awakening, so it gives you actually a decent amount of boost, it gives you a 2.7k Chi, a 2.6k Nin, 2.5 Tai, and a 2.4 HP, which is pretty, pretty decent. Is there a mode 2 for this? There's also actually a mode 2 to this too which gives you like which gives you a, a, just a little bit more buff and then is there mode 3 there's also actually a mode 3 to this too which gives you an extra buff however it takes a lot more MD so yeah there's only 3 modes for this current Shizen and then if you block uh, it looks like kind of like a wooden thingy which is actually pretty pretty cool so let me just look at it from the front yeah, it actually looks pretty pretty nice pretty nice first move we're going to be doing is the V move so the first move that you're going to purchase so okay the first move it's like kind of like a wooden tree and it does just it's a decent it's it's decent it's not really that good it would do with like a good rework but yeah pretty pretty decent move pretty pretty decent move doesn't do that much damage but it's still like an okay move okay the second move slash the b move okay so it's like a sunflower and actually oh okay it's like gives out toxins and stuff and it like hurts them for a lot and stuff which is very very good that's very very nice the last move or the end move all right oh okay so it just summons a massive a massive tree that you can go on so that we're actually gonna redo that one but like in this in a space where there's nothing there all right when they're like a, a place there's nothing there we're gonna redo that it's actually such a cool move it's like summons a massive tree that you can just like escape from a move and stuff it's actually pretty pretty cool move if i'm being honest it's actually a really really nice move i really really like that all right now we're gonna move on to the q spec move so the q spec move is just them hitting once it does pretty um, it does an all right amount of damage and then the c spec just it's just uh, running, it's just like trampling through them, which is pretty, pretty cool. And you can actually control it once you rotate your camera, it just goes to that direction. Pretty, pretty cool move. Actually, does a good amount of damage too. Is there an e-spec? There's no e-spec, unfortunately, on that move. But yeah, pretty, pretty good bloodline. The worst thing is the first two moves are not really that, they don't do that much damage. They're pretty, pretty weak. This move's actually pretty, pretty decent. I really, really like that. Also, for mode 3, it actually gives you a good buff. However, the MD on it, it takes a lot of MD. It takes a good it takes a good chunk of your MD. So yeah, the first Shizen, not that bad. It's not that bad of a Shizen. Alright, next Shizen we're gonna be doing is Raikon or Riken Shizen. Pretty pretty good Shizen. I'm pretty sure it's just like a reskin of the normal Shizen or Shizen, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, we're gonna mold up first, add the exact same buffs, and then well actually it has like an oh, it has like a red aura on it, which is pretty pretty cool. Alright, second mode pretty pretty good and then the third mode i'm guessing there's only three modes and yeah it gives kind of like more of a buff on some aspects and less of a buff in some aspects compared to the normal shizen or shizen and then there's no mode for there's only three modes first move or the v move okay so press it yeah it's very 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 similar basically it's just a reskin of the new normal shizen it's got like these red wood that like hits pretty decent damage it's pretty pretty decent damage uh the second move or the b move Oh, that actually does okay damage, and then, uh, yeah, like, the same thing, there's, like, a flower that comes out and, like, intoxicates them, and then the end move, I'm guessing it's just an, an, an enormous tree, yep, but it's a tr red tree, which is a lot cooler than the green tree, but, yeah, it's very, very similar, it's got, it's a red tree, and it's actually very, very nice, it's, it's, it's the same size and stuff, but I just really like red more than green, it just, it just stands out a lot more, and then for the Q spec, I'm guessing it's just gonna be exactly the same, it's just, yep, them hitting does like a, a good amount of it does like one hit but it does a good amount of damage and then if we block and press the c move so the c spec yep exactly the same thing it just tramples on their opponent and then you can just run around and stuff so yeah and then yeah oh that at the end there was like a kind of like a wooden thing i don't know if that the normal season had it but yeah it has like kind of the same buffs but just less in chi i'm pretty sure and less in nin but more in tai and more in hp i'm pretty pretty sure so yeah this is actually a pretty pretty decent bloodline it's very very similar to the normal season so yeah they're very very close to each other very very close in power oh yeah also keep in mind i'm pretty sure it takes actually more md than normal season so yeah, the Raikou Shizen takes a lot more MD, I'm pretty sure, because my MD is running out so much faster than that when I did the normal Shizen, and they're both got like the same modes, it was both of them on mode 3. I'm pretty, pretty sure it takes a lot more MD, because look at my MD counts, yeah, it's going out on all, it's going out faster than my normal Shizen, so yeah, it does take more MD than the normal Shizen. Alright, next Shizen or Shizen that we're going to be showcasing is the Giovanni or Giovanni Shizen. So yeah, we're going to mode up. Okay, first mode does pretty good buff it's a 2.7k 2.6k 2.5k and 2.4k so pretty pretty decent buff is there a second mode to it yes there is and it gives you a bit like a lot better buff and then the third mode is there a third mode nope so there's only two modes but the second mode actually gives you an amazing amazing buff and the md goes down like 25 per second which is not that bad actually first move is like kind of like a golem so yeah it's like golem that spawns and just keeps on hitting them so it hits the target for you and actually does pretty pretty good damage it's just like 30k ish okay the second move is it's like a tree that like intoxicates them basically so let me just press the second move 
Yep, so it's like a tree that just takes out toxins and just damages the opponent. It's not going to, of course, damage the logs because they're not like a real opponent. But yeah, if it was a real opponent, it would have damaged them and did like toxic damage, basically. All right, the sec the third move is kind of like a travel move. And it's actually super, super cool. And just press N and it's like a dragon that summons you, summons dragon. And you can actually go like a decent amount, actually. I think they debuffed it because I remember beforehand, it was actually got, it used to go for a lot longer. And also that dragon, if you want to aim it at someone, and you can actually do damage too. So yeah, we're going to be aiming it at the logs. Alright, so yeah, we've got the enemy here and we're just going to hit them. And it does like, it does continuous damage. It does around like 50, 60k-ish. Actually, around 50, 60 to 80k. Depends on how much like levels you've got and everything. But yeah, it does pretty, pretty good damage. Alright, so now we're going to be doing the... The, oh, this look. This is how it looks like when you block too, which is extremely, extremely cool. It's got, you got like your own golem that's like protecting you basically. And then yeah, the Q spec. The golem just basically hits and then summons a tree too. Actually, it summons like a few trees. It summons like four trees there. And then the C move, the C spec. Okay, yeah, that's really, really good. Uh, so, so cool. That's actually really, really nice. It's just like the golem that you had once you when you block actually does a lot of damage. And just continuous damage and so so cool and yeah look even when you're hitting with mode 2 the golem hits for you and actually hits like more than one target at the same time which is so so cool i really really like this it's actually a really really nice mode i really really like this and then yeah the c spec it's just so so cool it's just like a barrage and you're just hitting for so much it's just so so cool i really really like it really like it my, in my opinion the c spec probably my favorite move out of the whole bloodline and yeah, the Q spec one more time. It's just like he hits and then he summons trees and stuff. Pretty, pretty decent. It's, it's okay. It's not like the best move, but it's not that bad either. And then for the final move, once again, the B move. It's just like a tree that summons and then, yeah, just drops these toxins. It does I think it does a decent amount of damage. We can't really try it out because it's training logs. But yeah, I'm assuming it does an okay amount of damage. It probably won't land that many times because all the toxins are all the way up in the sky. So yeah, it won't do that much damage. But yeah, it'll do a decent amount of damage. All right, next bloodline we are showcasing is Joe. Shizen, which I'm pretty sure is just a reskin of Giovanni Shizen. So, the first thing we're gonna do, of course, is mode up. But yeah, it's gonna be a very, very similar. However, it has this nice cloak. It's like a JoJo cloak. And it's so, so cool. Okay. Second mode, and it has him doing. Oh, that's like. Oh, it actually has him do the pose too. It's actually really, really cool. Is there a third mode? Nope. He's doing the pose, which is super, super cool. I really, really like that. But yeah, the first move is the V move. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be like a wood, wooden dragon, just a bit more purplish. But yeah, it does, it does the exact same damage. And he looks super, super cool. Can move or the B move, yeah, it's just going to be a purple tree that just releases these toxins that do damage. And then the last move, the dragon move. So I'm guessing we could just like ride it. There we go. You can just ride it around, ride it around. But, bro, I think they definitely nerfed this because back in the day, I'm pretty sure I was traveling for a lot, lot longer. So I'm pretty, pretty sure they nerfed it. I'm, I'm like 99% certain. I'm going to do the Q spec. It's going to be the exact the same with just these trees. And then the C spec is just going to be him repeatedly hitting the tree. And yeah, so it's actually a really, really nice mode. I, I prefer this one, the purple one, rather than the green one, just because of how how he poses and stuff. And it's just, he's got this like Jojo cloak on and stuff, which is super, super cool. At the end move, I'm pretty sure it just does the exact same damage. Yep, exact same damage. And then I think, yeah, all the moves do the exact same damage. However, this one just looks that little bit more cooler. They both take the exact same MD and stuff. So yeah, this mode, I really, really like. It just looks so cool and stuff. All right, next bloodline we're going to be doing is Alpha Rima Shizen. So yeah, we're going to be going to the first mode. For the first mode, you actually have to be level 1200. So yeah, the bloodline has to be level 1200 to even unlock the first mode. All right, so that's the first mode. It has like a red aura. Is there a second mode? No, there's actually only one mode to this. There's only one mode. Oh, that's actually, that's actually very, very surprising. So yeah, one mode. It does gives you a decent amount of buff too, which is pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, the first move is the V move. Okay, it's like a tree that hits. And it does pretty good damage. It does pretty, pretty good damage. It also has like a flame effect too. So I'm guessing it's going to be doing flame slash burn damage. All right, second move is the B move. So we're just going to press B. And uh, yeah, it's like trees. You have to be kind of a bit far away from your target to actually hit it. But yeah, it does like continuous burn damage, which actually does it does a, a good amount of damage too. It does really, really good amount of damage. Also, I'm noticing my MD is going down super, super quick with this mode. So yeah, this is takes a lot of MD, this mode. And then the next move or the last move is the end move. The end move is like... It's like basically just like wooden logs and stuff that just do so much damage and stuff. There's actually a really, really nice bloodline. I read the Q spec. Okay, it's just like a golem that comes out and then just does a pretty decent amount of damage. And then the C spec. Okay, the C spec. Boom. 
Okay, okay, it's the Gotham and it does continue. Wow, that's actually so cool. It does like continue some of fits. It's kind of like the Giovanni Shizen, but this one's like an, kind of like an upgraded golem. And then yeah, the M1s are super, super cool. I really, really like the M1s. They're really, really nice. Like if it's like a boss that doesn't have like far away hits, you can destroy them in seconds. Or like those green green scroll missions, you can finish them off in seconds, especially with this golem. And then yeah, the V move, just one more time. It's just like these logs that do a good. I like really like the burn damage that they do. And then the B move. So we have to be kind of far away. And yeah, it does, I think, like 40k on all of them combined. And it also does continuous burn damage too, which is super, super cool. And then the last and final move, the end move. And yep, it's just like logs and they just do, yeah, damage, which is so, so cool. Also, my MD is basically finished. This is my first time <laughs> the MD finishes before we actually finish the showcase. All right, also, this mod actually has an e-spec, which we're going to try out. So yeah, this is the first mod that does have an e-spec. So it's like a golem that hits and then releases these trees. And I'm pretty sure if, like, the enemies in these trees, he's going to get damage from these, like, black flames and stuff, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool move. And it also has an e-spec, which is absolutely amazing. Really, really amazing. All right, awesome. guys. And for the final and last blood that we're going to be showcasing is the new Ashura Shizen bloodline. I've got the reskin version which is exactly the same as the normal version so yeah the first move is the V moves that just releases dragons and it looks so so cool and it does it does a good amount of damage too it does a ton of damage all right the B move is also a dragon so I'm just gonna hit it it's like a dragon and also just locks onto the opponent and it just does a lot of damage that's really really cool and also takes some of their thingy absorbs some of their chi too which is really really nice I really really like it all right the third move is the end move and this is by far my favorite move so basically you just tr you just track the opponent and they basically just can't run away and then you do like this amazing just really really nice combo however this move is actually blockable so yeah if something's blocking just don't use it but yeah it's really really good and also to be honest you can even use it for a fast travel move it actually covers a decent amount of distance too so you can also use like as a travel move look boom 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 running 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 I covered a good amount of distance if I'm being honest, especially if you're like running from away from your opponent or something and you're like really, really low. It's a really, really cool move, really, really nice move. All right, now we're gonna mold up. So we're just gonna press C and there we go. We've molded up form one. There's only one form to this. There's only one form to this mode. And then yeah, when you block, it looks so, so cool. So let me just try and flip it like this. So yeah, we can barely see it, but however, it just it looks really, really cool. It looks amazing. And then, so yeah, the Q spec basically makes you the Q-Spec makes you go into this this different mode, like this fighting mode. And yeah, it makes you so, it does like so much more damage and stuff. However, the MD runs out extremely, extremely quick. And if you want to go out from it, you just press Q and then releases you from that mode. And then the normal M1s, just normal, just like you can tell the difference between the fighting style and the normal style. So yeah, the fighting style is of course better. However, it takes just a lot, a lot of MD. And then the C-Spec. C-Spec is very, very cool. It's kind of like the fighting style. It looks very, very similar to when you press the Q, when you press the Q-Spec and then start fighting. All right, and the Q-Spec. So I'm going to be going into my Q-Spec. And then now we can actually use our E-Spec. It's kind of like these vines that like run across. It does, it's pretty, it's a pretty decent move. It actually does, it does a good amount of damage. I don't even know who it's still hitting. But yeah, it does a good amount of damage, but it's kind of like extremely, extremely hard to hit. Once I, I was one v one with my friend and I was using it and it was very, very, very hard for, to hit him because you're just moving a lot and stuff. So yeah, keep that in mind. If you're fighting like someone, like not an NPC, it's going to be very, very hard to hit them, especially if they're like running and moving around a lot. The V move, once again, a recap, it's like a dragon that hits and it just keeps on doing damage, just like sticks onto the opponent and does lots of damage. Also, the B move is exactly the same. So yeah, sticks to the opponent and also gives you chi which is extremely extremely cool really really nice and then the end move in my opinion it's one of, in my opinion the best move out of all of them because it's like kind of like a combo but yeah this mode's actually really really nice in my opinion the strongest out of all the shizen modes or shizen modes in my opinion the astro shizen is the strongest but yeah guys that has been the end of the video which means we're gonna be ranking every shizen from best to worst so yeah we're gonna start off with the worst in my opinion it's probably just a normal shizen or shizen it's it's decent However, it's not really better than any of the other ones. The moves are just kind of like not that nice. Like, they're just not that good. The moves, they don't do that much damage and stuff. It's, a, it's an okay, it's an okay mode. However, the mode for it is actually really, really good. It gives you a good buff. However, it's just, it's, the moves are just not that good at all. It's the second worst is the Riken or Riken Shizen. It's basically just a, it's just kind of like a reskin of the normal Shizen or Shizen. Just looks a little bit more cooler because it's red. So yeah, so it's a decent, it's very, very decent. It's, it's, they're actually very, very good bloodlines. I really, really like the modes for them. 
However, the moves are just not that good at all. Just not that great. Third one we're going to be putting in the list is Giovanni or Giovanni Shizen. It's actually a very, very good. It's, it's a very, very good bloodline, but just not better than any of the other ones on the list. Giovanni or Giovanni Shizen. The mode itself actually gives you a decent amount of buff. The moves are really, really cool. All right, the fourth one we're going to put is Jotaro Shizen. It's kind of like a reskin of the Giovanni Shizen. However, it just looks so much cooler, especially when we pose and stuff. And we have like this cloak. It just looks absolutely amazing. Fifth one we're going to put is Alpha Rama Shizen. It's actually very, very good. Very, very good for like grinding bosses and stuff. I really, really like that bloodline for grinding bosses. However, keep in mind, it takes a lot of MD and takes a ton, ton of MD. And then the last and final bloodline, the best out of all of them, is the Ashra Shizun. It's just so, so cool. I just really like every single, everything about it. I just really, really like but yeah guys, that has been the video. If you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any sort of way, make sure to like, subscribe. Also in the comments down below, rank the Shizuns from best to worst. I'm really, really curious on your guys' like take on this. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day, guys. And peace out, guys. Peace out.